Welcome to Shop Talk Express. Um, today I'm talking to Dawn Desai, who's Senior Vice President and GM with uh, International at PDI. Welcome, Dawn. Good morning, Dan. Thank you. Well, not, nice to talk to you. We we were having a chat, Dawn, really about where retailers see themselves at the end of uh, of 2022, the beginning just before the beginning of a, of a new year, 2023. I guess it's been a really sort of reactive couple of years throughout the world, hasn't it, for, for everybody, but retailers especially, certainly in, in our segment in fuel and convenience retail. What's what's the one thing uh, you're hoping for, for the industry as we as we head into the new year? Well, yes, you, you're quite right, Dan. Um, the last couple of years or last few years have been very dynamic. Um, you know, it's been a very adaptive marketplace. We've seen so much change and disruption to all of our lives. Um, but not least to the to the retail sector and to the business sector. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm what I'm hoping for, and and this sort of follows on from discussions that I've had with our customers and and with other retailers is for the opportunity for them to be um, to, to to be able to reflect and review what's happened, but also to be in a position where they can be more proactive, where they can plan ahead a little bit more. Um, I think having the opportunity to review what they already have in terms of their systems and how they connect together, um, mm -hmm. but also how um, having the opportunity to look at, at other technologies and how they can bring those in to, to also connect uh, with the systems within the store. I think that will put them in a better place to be able to be more proactive, but it will also give them a, a, a firmer foundation for being more agile when they still do need to react um, as we've seen in the last few years. Well, they certainly, I certainly completely agree with that. Just, you know, being specific really about where they can be more pro proactive, where, where's the best place to start? Oh, um, well, I, I, in my opinion, I think um, data is a great place to start. Um, you know, that we've seen greater uses of data um, that impacts all, all of our lives and all aspects of our lives. And, you know, if I think back three years um, here in the UK, um, you know, just as we were going into into sort of the lockdown uh, situation as a as a result of of the uh, outbreak of COVID, um, we saw our government stand up here in the UK on television every night, mm. using data, presenting data to justify the decisions they were taking, to justify their strategy, but also to drive the general public's behaviour and, and habits. Um, and it did just that, um, you know, we we couldn't go and do our regular visits to supermarkets in the same way that we've been used to. We had to adapt and change. And that was all as a result of the data that was presented to us. Um, we saw consumers shifting from going to the store to moving online and also to making full use of their local convenience retail stores that, you know, perhaps were a little bit closer to home and a, and a bit more convenient. Um, I think the way that data has been used or is starting to be used within those stores, um, again, has been very, um, has been really valuable. Uh, during the, the COVID period at, at PDI, we started to have weekly meetings with our insights practice, looking at the data that was coming out of these stores, um, you know, the looking at the changes in behavior around footfall, frequency of visits, size of baskets, what was in the basket, um, you know, whole whole different um, consumer habits and the retailers have taken that and used that to um, plan differently within the stores to the extent that now they're looking at whole different store formats um, to meet a changing demand and requirement from those consumers. That's very interesting. And, and I guess POS is the central hub, really, isn't it? It is. I mean, you know, we see POS as being at the heart of all of that because it's it's data from the POS that feeds into uh, the loyalty programs, um, you know, feeds into uh, our offers, uh, insights, uh, into optimizing fuel pricing, into, um, you know, data from the ERP system feeds into um, the logistics and, and the planning um, side. So, yeah, POS is really very much at the heart of that. What's the thinking about sort of next year and the next few years in terms of retailer decisions? You know, where where are you are you expecting data to become even more relevant? You know, in which in which area? 
Yeah, um, I think one area that we've seen a growing interest in is around sustainability. Mm. Um, you know, it matters a great deal to many, many consumers, to many of us. So it's having to matter a great deal more to, to businesses, not just in how they operate their businesses, but in how they interact with their with their consumers. Um, you know, in, in the UK, uh, in a couple of years ago, um, we saw a great initiative uh, as part of the celebrations of our, of our Queen, late Queen's Jubilee um, called the Queen's Green Canopy. And this is an initiative that um, was throughout the Commonwealth about planting a million plus trees uh, in her name. But, you know, it, it sort of builds on the, the fact that sustainability and the environment is, is very, very much top of many people's minds. Uh, absolutely. And of course, I mean, PDI acquired Greenprint back in I think it was the 1st of March 2022 and Greenprint quite well known to the audience's uh, audience for Global Sea Store Focus done some very interesting work I've seen in Ireland with Maxwell for instance so that's uh, I guess an, a string to to PDI's bow. Yeah I mean I, you know I'm really proud of the fact that uh, we have a sustainability solution and that we're able to uh, work with retailers like Maxwell um, to engage with their consumers and and offer their consumers a way of offsetting their carbon footprint, or at least the carbon footprint of their fuel purchase. Um, you know, data has enabled us to see which consumers are participating. So this is through, through the loyalty promotions, mm -hmm. um, but what offsets their earning um, and, and helps the retailers in, in how they continue to connect with these consumers and how they can offer additional opportunities. Um, whether it's at the pump or within the store, um, to further enhance that sort of engagement and relationship. Um, you know, I think these are great examples of how data contributes um, to a much bigger effort. Um, you know, in this case, a shared vision around an environmentally responsible future, uh, but one that also can be seen to benefit um, businesses' bottom lines. Absolutely. I, I'm very optimistic. About, are you optimistic about, you know, bringing data to sustainability? Because it seems to it, the, the two things have to go together, don't they? Because it's a major driver for um, for certain consumers. Yeah, I mean, as I said earlier, you know, data really is at the heart of every decision and 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 has impacted and will continue continue to impact every aspect of our lives. And, you know, as a, as a company, we're looking at how we can leverage data and we get a wealth of it through our different systems and solutions and how we can use that to help our customers um, enhance their um, their relationships with the consumers, their customers, but also how it can help them grow um, and scale uh, in a profitable way, but also in a responsible way. Very, very good. Well, Dawn, great chatting to you. Look, best wishes to you for the holiday season. We're all looking forward to, 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 to a break. And... You know, if you anyone would like to carry on the conversation, check out pditechnologies.com forward slash trends to hear from other PDI leaders like yourself, Dawn. Nice to talk to you. Thank you for the opportunity, Dan. Great to talk to you.